टुडे वी आर हियर फॉर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेक्टर फील्ड्स वेक्टर फील्ड्स सो लेट्स नो व्हाट आर वेक्टर फील्ड्स सो कमिंग टू जस्ट फर्स्ट वी सी द डेफिनेशन इट सेज द वेक्टर फील्ड वी ऑन ई थ्री इज ए फंक्शन that assigns to each point p of e3 a tangent vector v of p to e3 at p so what it says a vector field v on e3 is a function that assigns to each point p of e3 a tangent vector v of p to e3 at point p this says v is a f- is nothing but a function from e3 to the tangent space tp of e3 means for p p means at a point p so it says that for each point of e3 there is a tangent vector suppose it is a point p then the tangent vector is v of p so for each point of p there is a tangent vector vp in tp of e3 so this is a function which assigns each point of e3 a tangent vector in tp vb of p in tp of e3 so as i said for a point p in e3 there may be many tangent vectors so there may be so many tangent vectors at the point p but we are assigning only one tangent vector at a point p so for p i am assigning only one point pp then such function is called vector field so we can see an example which is a natural example for vector field so we are having an for each object for each object in the space in the space it is nothing but three dimensional space so there is a gravitational force that is a gravitational force and which is towards the earth so one can think this gravitation uh, force which is directed towards the earth is a tangent vector for reach objects so this is a real example which can be seen in terms of vector field so if i can write in terms of function this is e3 and this is tp of e3 and this is a function v for each point suppose this is p1 p2 so on for each point p in v e3 so v of p is in tp of e3 so likewise for each point we are assigning one one tangent vector so, so this is about the vector field so here to analyze the function we are collecting the tangent vectors so one can be in set form as tangent space in set form can be it is sorry it is not a tangent space it is a vector field so vector field in terms of set can be viewed as a collection of collection of arrows one at each point of h at each point p of e3 so it says it is the collection of vectors so arrows for at each one at each point p of e3 so prati one point in e3 ge one vector tp of e3 alli map martidvi so that collection is nothing but the set form of the vector field now since we know that two tangent vectors can be added so just before we have studied in the previous class we have studied two vector tangent vectors can be added and uh, it can be scalar multiplied so likewise yes the vector fields if suppose we are having two vector fields which is a function from e3 to tp of e3 which is one vector field and suppose w is also another vector field 
which maps each point of e3 uh, tangent vector in tp of e3 so for each point in e3 there is a tangent vector in tp of e3 so which is in terms of v and for the another vector field w for each point of p we are as we are assigning another tangent vector vb means uh, here the point is same the points are same in e3 as we are taking the points of e3 the points are same but we are assigning different tangent vectors as for a point there may be different tangent vectors therefore for in case of vector field v i am assigning to different tangent vectors in case of w i am assigning to different tangent vectors for the same points p of e3 so therefore we get two different vector fields so as vector field is a collection of vector field is nothing but a collection of arrows vector field is collection of arrows collection of arrows or can be called as tangent vectors therefore they can be added hence in turn the vector fields v and w can be added so hence v plus w is possible it is also a vector field therefore one can say that the sum of two vector spaces is again a vector space sum of two vector fields is again a vector field vector field so as a uh, scalar multiplication is possible in case of tangent vectors in turn the vector fields are also that scalar multiplied means here we are multiplying with a function so f here f can be taken as a differentiable function which can be viewed as a scalar so here also f into v is also a vector field the scalar multiplication to a vector field is also a vector field so here f is a scalar which is nothing but a real valued function real valued function on e3 as we are multiplying a tangent vector vp with a alpha which is a real number likewise here multi where we are multiplying the vector field v with the scalar f which is nothing but a real valued function hence one can say that scalar multiplication of a vector field with real valued function means here real valued function is multiplied with the vector field is again a vector field so this is how we perform addition of first two vector fields and scalar multiplication to a vector field so these vector fields are can be seen in a similar line with the vector spaces so we can just compare vector fields with vector spaces so as we have seen uh, for each vector space there is a basis basis so the standard one is standard basis standard basis for each vector basis there is exist a standard basis for each vector space therefore one can think in the similar way whether there is a basis for a vector field whether it is a standard or not whether the standard basis exist or not whether there are some basis so likewise we can think the same for the vector fields so then comes uh, one important definition so what that says so this definition says let u1 u2 u3 be the vector fields so these are the vector fields these are the vector fields on e3 points of e3 such that the vector field u one's value at a point p is in terms of the order triplet p at the point p u two is equal to u three is at the point p is zero one zero zero one at the point p. This is for each point p of e three. here these vector fields together u1 u2 u3 together
called as natural frame fields so one can think these natural frame fields in comparison with the standard bases yes we are having in case of v3 the standard base consists of three elements likewise in case of vector fields we are having three elements which is in terms of u1 and u1 u2 and u3 they are collectively called as natural frame fields yes we are in terms of vector fields these are called as natural frame fields so let's exactly know what these vector fields do so what are say what actually they will do in as an in uh, defining a function from e3 to the tangent space tp of e3 at each point p of e3 so let's see how they will work here u1 of p means it is a function which maps each point of e3 a tangent vector in tp of e3 which should be directed towards which should be directed towards the direction of positive x axis so the significance of u of u1 of p is that if suppose we are having a coordinate system x y z and suppose p is a point then this u u1 of p defines a function such that each point p in e3 maps onto a tangent vector which should be directed towards positive x axis so likewise suppose q is another point it should be also if it if, if the point p is here then it should be directed towards positive x axis this is how this function collect, collects those vector those ve tangent vectors which are directed towards the positive x axis so likewise u2 of p is a function u2 from the set of e3 to tp of e3 such that the function maps each point p of e3 to a tangent vector tangent vector in tp of e3 which should be directed towards positive y axis so similarly for u3 of p this is also a function u3 from e3 to tp of e3 such that each point p is mapped on to a tangent vector which is directed towards positive z z axis which is directed towards positive z axis so this is how we can see u1 u2 and u3 and they collectively called as natural frame fields so this is about uh, the similar concept of bases as in the vector space so next in case of vector spaces we can think as each vector can be written as linear combination of the basis elements with with the coordinates means if suppose v is a vector then v can be written as linear combination of the basis so here u1 u2 u3 form the basis of r3 so 
दिस इज द बेसिस ऑफ आर्टरी एंड अल्फा अल्फा इज आर कॉल्ड द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द वेक्टर लाइकवाइज इन केस ऑफ लाइकवाइज इन केस ऑफ वेक्टर फील्ड्स द सिमिलर कॉन्सेप्ट फॉलोज बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ नेचुरल फ्रेम फ्रेम फील्ड्स एंड द कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर इन टर्म्स ऑफ फंक्शंस सो वी कैन सी दैट विच इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ फेमस थेरम सो दैट सेज इफ V is a vector field on E three. Then there are three uniquely determined real valued functions. V1, V2, V3 on E3. Such that the vector field V is a linear combination of these functions together with the natural function. Such that the vector field V is a linear combination of these functions together with the natural frame fields. Here, the functions V1, V2, V3 are called the euclidean coordinate functions coordinate functions of the vector field v so this can be just compared with this linear combination of the basis of the standard basis set so we can just compare so it looks similar but in case of even e2 e3 we are having even u2 e3 which are the natural frame fields in case of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 we are having even v2 v3 here these are the coordinates these are the euclidean coordinate functions so let's see how it works and in terms of proof just we use the definition of vector field by the definition of vector field vector field p from e3 to tp of e3 this p assigns to each point p P of E three a tangent vector. P of P at a point P. So this says that this implies the tangent vector V of P depends on depends on the point P. As it is a three coordinate system, therefore this point P is P one comma P two comma P three. Therefore, this V of P can be written as in terms of V one of P, V two of P, and V three of P. Because every tangent vector can be written in terms of order triplet. Therefore, I am writing V of P as the order triplet V one of P, V two of P, and V three of P. So I can rewrite V of P as V one of P. One zero zero, because we are studying all this with respect to the point P, V two of P, zero one zero of P, plus V three of P, zero zero one of P. So since we know that E one of P is equal to one zero zero of P, U two of P is equal to zero one zero at the point P, V three of P is equal to. Zero zero one at the point P. This implies V of P can be written as the linear combination of the Euclidean coordinate functions along with the natural frame fields.
since p is an arbitrary point in e3 therefore we have v is equal to the v1 u1 plus v2 u2 plus v3 u3 so this is about this theorem this holds for all point p belongs to e3 we can rewrite this as v is equal to summation from i equal to 1 to 3 pr into ui this is all about the linear combination of Euclidean coordinate functions together with the natural frame fits. Now we have a note which says the vector field V is differentiable only when or provided its Euclidean coordinate functions are differentiable. And this is all about vector fields. Let us see some examples on the vector fields in the upcoming class. Until then, keep watching. Thank you.